All right, so I just recently hit the top ranks in um, Halo ranked arena on my hybrid input. So I thought it would be worth it to make a video on it and tell you guys about the things I've learned about it. Just some background. I have been playing mouse and keyboard for freaking years, probably like a decade now. And I haven't picked up a controller for like the same amount of time. It was definitely one of the biggest learning curves I've had, but it was definitely something that was super fun. I encourage everybody to try it out. It's super fun. So I'll go over some things here. Um, so one movement is so different compared to the keyboard. So the keyboard has a total of eight directions, right? Analog movement has a total of 360 degrees. As a result of this, I would find myself getting stuck on things a lot um, when I try to back up because I just I really just don't know how to move on a controller so yeah I would like back up and like try to get behind cover but I would miss it barely because when you do things on a controller you have to be a lot more precise compared to a mouse and keyboard which is is like second nature to me I can just do things really easily on it but for moving on a controller it's a lot more difficult for me and uh, that, this goes without saying that I suck at using a controller. This is really bad because Halo is a movement shooter. It took me hours of practice to understand moving on a controller and I'm still not even close to even properly moving. It, it just takes a lot of practice and it's a lot of muscle memory for I would say most people who grew up on a controller. Movement is an integral part of Halo especially because yeah it is a movement shooter. The main thing is I, I don't understand like movement intricacies, like how to strafe properly um, in lots of different situations. And like I said, it, it comes it comes with uh, it just comes with practice. Um, so there's a couple things in the learning curve. This is hard, man, um, especially when you're against pros and semi pros in all of your ranked games. The pros definitely have the experience and knowledge of how to move properly. And I don't. And I'm using kind of like a weird input. I pretty much just feel like I'm at a disadvantage. So basically you have to intentionally think of your movement and your movement speeds. On analog movement, you can travel at different speeds. If you're not putting your analog stick as far as you can to the left or right or forward or back or wherever, you're not gonna be moving at like the max velocity that you can. And that's not true for keyboard because keyboard is just an input. You you press a button and you get a set speed. And obviously if you're not traveling at a like a max velocity pretty much all the time in, in these high ranked games, you're, you're gonna be easier to hit. And um, it made me think that strafing is a real, really a technique. With this input, you have to think of strafing and aiming. There's no aim assist. So before I would think of a lot about my aiming, it was like second nature to me, so it was kind of easy. But um, with this input, you have to think of both, right? So moving properly on the arena is super important. I would say it's like 50%, right? You have 50% of aiming, 50% of moving. You have to be good at moving because controllers have aim assist and you don't. I think for a lot of people, who are already good at the game, they don't have to put as much effort into aiming. Once again, there's aim assist for controllers, so pretty much just aim with your strafe. Uh, you, you barely have to touch that right stick. I'm not saying it's like the easiest thing. Thinking of strafing on a controller and aiming on a mouse, it is very taxing mentally. You have to like be in like that state of focus the entire game and it's so tiring on your brain, especially when you have other things to think of. So yeah, so you'd have to think of like strafing aiming the map when everything is when the sandbox is open where the spawns are where your teammates are spawning there's like so much stuff you have to think of it's super hard for you to um think of all these things at once uh, on this input so it's definitely one of the biggest learning curves i've ever had to do and i can't i can't play for long periods of time anymore because i would legit burn my brain out because you are straight up focusing the entire game. And then lastly, another part of the learning curve is you'd have to sit for, for an hour or two to figure out like appropriate binds and stuff uh, for your mouse and your uh, controller. I have a video out on my binds and stuff. But yeah, it, a, a lot of the, the extra buttons and the paddles help for sure. I would say it's impossible to play hybrid input without it. And then lastly, I want to say that it does not feel like an advantage. It sounds like it would be good on paper. Like you have the best of both worlds. Like you have really precise movement and then you have um, precise aim. Bro, it is hard. I encourage you to try it if you think it's that easy, especially in freaking 1800 plus Onyx. There's not a lot of wiggle room. 
for sure. And I'm sure you guys all know that the strafing in Halo is so fast. Without aim assist on a mouse, you have to do those micro adjustments yourself. You'd have to make the decision to make micro adjustments between your movement and your mouse. And it's it's not it's easier said than done for sure. You definitely have two options, but you have to be constantly like using your brain and thinking the entire time just for movement and aiming. It's just it's hard. I could see how it'd be advantageous if you're like incredibly comfortable on this input and I definitely will continue playing on this input because it's super fun. I'm still on that curve so it's still difficult for me but yeah so that that's all I really wanted to cover for my hybrid input so yeah.